Yo, 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 what is going on, Svelte crew? How do you do? I'm Coach Ben. Today, we got an awesome full body workout for you that's gonna get you really right for summertime. And the only equipment that you need is a little fold-out chair, or you can use your dining room chairs, or even an office chair, but be wary of those wheels. All jokes aside, though, this is a great exercise to hit all muscle parts of your body. And this workout is filled with compound movements, so we're burning as many calories as possible, while also working as many muscle groups as possible as well. It's pretty short and simple, but because they're compound movements, you'll be be able to do less exercises and burn just the same amount of calories as you would on a normal full body. So moving on, how we're gonna go about this is we're gonna do two rounds. The first round, you can do it with me, but it's really just to show you proper form and demonstrating each exercise. And the second round is where we work together and get on this summer shredding. Just make sure that you're checking the timer when we get to round two. So in case you wanna keep feeling like a beast and keep that burning going, you can just replay to that time and start the round over. Now the first exercise is very, very simple, but incredibly effective. This is the step up. The step up is great for working your glutes, hamstrings, and quads, and can be done with or without weight. Now a lot of people ask, what's a step up? The answer is in the question. All you have to do is just put your foot on the chair and step up. Congratulations, you have completed your first step up. Now we're gonna do this for 30 seconds to demonstrate, and you can follow along or just watch the show. In three, two, one and begin. It's really important to make sure that you're keeping perfect posture when doing this exercise. If it's too much on your knees, just keep the foot on the chair before you switch. If you wanna make it more of an advanced exercise, you can explode like such to get the most calories burned and the most work out of your muscles. And done. Now we're gonna switch off to the next exercise, which is decline push-ups. This is another compound movement where we're working our shoulders or backs or lats or core or chest, and we are going as fast as possible. This is a circuit exercise. So how we perform a decline push-up, we're gonna put our legs on top of the chair Make sure our shoulders are shoulder width. Some people have wider or broader shoulders and you might have to go wider. Make sure on the way down that your elbows are pointed at a 45 degree angle and not flaring outwards. And this is a proper decline push-up. Now we're gonna do this for 30 seconds. In three, two, one, begin. Three, two, and one, good guy. Now we're moving on to the next exercise, which are shoulders. And we're gonna be doing this by doing shoulder dips. You put your hands at the end of the chair and put your heels out in front of you. Make sure that your shoulders are straight and not rolled forward. This is great for your triceps and all sides of your shoulders. And when you're set up like this, you can begin. In three, two, one, start. You can really feel it in your lower chest as well. I'm gonna end this in three, two, and one. Good job, guys, good job. And like I said, this is a short and simple exercise, meaning we're doing four exercises only, so this is the last exercise, and then we're hopping into round two. Hope you're ready. Even though this is the last exercise, this is a superset, meaning we're gonna be doing two exercises in one. We're gonna be doing a bent over row and then shoulder raises. And you're probably asking yourself, well, you don't have any weight. How are you gonna be able to execute this exercise? Well, the funny thing is you don't need weight to actually contract a muscle. You can still have a mind-body connection and still be able to work a muscle even without any weight. You can feel this when we're about to do our shoulder raises. When you bend over like such at a 90 degree angle, and then all you're doing is just driving your elbows back out in front of you. Now we're gonna do this for 10 reps. 
and then we're gonna immediately switch and do 10 reps of bent over rows. And when you do a bent over row, you can feel the activation in your lat. This is great to get that mind-body connection, especially if you wanna get some experience in the gym or in a weight room. You can really learn where your muscles are so you don't cause any risk of injury. So now that you know how it works, let's do it for 30 seconds, and then we're going on to round two. Let's get it. Three, two, one, and begin. Always make sure that your back is flat for these. It's really important. This is actually what's kind of giving you somewhat of some weight while doing this exercise. Switch. And three, two, one, and stop. Notice that when I was doing my bent over rows, I wasn't flaring out my elbows like that. Instead, I was putting my elbows into my hips because that is how the lat muscle is built. Your lat activation happens when you're bringing your elbow straight downward. Your lat has zero activation or mobility when you're putting it this way. All right, it's time for round two. We're gonna knock this out really quick, super short and simple. It's time to go to work. And ready in three, two, one. Begin. Three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, we're going straight into decline push ups. Start it in three, two, one, begin. Remember those elbows should be at 45 degree angle. Ooh. Go all the way down and all the way up. If this is too difficult for you though, it's totally okay to just go on your knees. There's no shame in it. We've all started from somewhere. Ooh. In three, two, and one. Nice job, guys, nice job. Now to the next exercise, we got dips. I'm gonna switch it up in three, two, one, and begin. Remember to make sure that your shoulders are straight and back. You should be feeling a little bit in your chest area. Three, two, and one, nice. One last superset, let's knock it out guys. Just super easy shoulder raises and bend over rows. We're gonna knock it out and be done with this workout. In three, two, one, begin. Woo, right after those dips, you can really feel it in your shoulders. Switch right to bend over rows after you get those 10 reps done, that should be a solid 30 seconds. Three, two, and one. That was awesome workout, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys like videos like this, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and make sure you got that notification bell on so you know the next time we post videos like this. Thank you so much for giving me the time to exercise with you and hope that your summer shredding is going well. Have a good one and see you next time.